In this video, we will look at two examples of determining the total return on an investment. The total return on an investment is the relative change in the investment value. The total return is equal to the difference of the ending value and initial value divided by the initial value. Let's look at an example. Joy pays $16,500 for shares in a new company. She sells the shares eight years later for $12,500. What was her total return on this investment? Round your answer to the nearest tenth of a percent. So the total return is equal to, in the numerator we have the ending value minus the initial value. The ending value is the amount she got selling the shares eight years later, which was $12,500 and then minus the initial value was the purchase price of $16,500. And this is divided by the initial value, which again is $16,500. Well, 12,500 minus 16,500 is negative 4,000. So we have negative 4,000 divided by 16,500. And now we need to find this quotient. Because we're told to round the decimal to the tenths place value or one decimal place, we'll have to round the decimal to three decimal places. We have negative 4,000 divided by 16,500. So notice how there's a four in the fourth decimal place, which means the three decimal places, this is approximately negative 0.242. We had to round this to three decimal places because when converting to a percentage, we will then have one decimal place. So as a percentage, we would have negative 24.2%. It's negative because she experienced a loss in this investment. Notice how she bought the shares for $16,500 and then she sold them eight years later for $12,500, which is a loss of $4,000 which shows here in the numerator. Let's take a look at a second example. Carlita pays $11,500 for shares in her new company. She sells her shares 10 years later for $21,500. What was her total return on this investment? So again, the total return is equal to this quotient here, where in the numerator we have the ending value minus the initial value. The ending value was the sell price 10 years later of $21,500 minus the initial value, which was the purchase price of $11,500. And then we divide this difference by the initial value, which again was the purchase price of $11,500. $21,500 minus $11,500 is 10,000. So we have 10,000 divided by 11,500. And now we go back to the calculator. Rounding to three decimal places, notice how we have a five in the fourth decimal place, and therefore we round up because we have a nine in the third decimal place. This rounds to approximately 0 0.870. Which means as a percentage, we have approximately 87.0%. So the total return on Kalita's investment is approximately 87.0%. I hope you found this helpful.